What is up? Green is not Nick Nation and welcome back to another video. This video is sponsored by San Pellegrino Limonada. That was a joke, but someone has a contact with them. Help me get sponsored. Today, we are looking at a new TikTok trend, right? TikTok, am I right, guys? Let me hear for TikTok. This trend is called the stay toxic trend. Now, there are a few accounts doing it, but some of them are satire and some of them aren't. And I think there's a weird gray area that I want to look into today. Now, the first account's pretty obvious about it. Andrew warned it, whose bio says satire, which makes it pretty obvious. But besides that, the account is pretty suspicious. But since they claimed they're satire, I can't hate too much. If she leaves you, do not stress. Just find another girl to undress. It's fun because even though it's satire it's funny because it's it rhymes i guess the joke is that he not he isn't actually a piece of shit bro i got high and opened your profile killed five hours looking at it good stuff five hours let me show you a little more of this kind of content i'll break up with a girl and beg for her to take me back just so i can break up with her all over again only worse stay toxic next time you're at home alone text your gf hey bro if she asks, I was with you tonight. See how she responds under pressure. Stay toxic. Ooh, living for the memories will remember forever. <laughs> Vaping at the EDM festival. Okay, let's move on to someone else. Now, this person, Sui Sauce, decided to also say toxic satire. So this has become a whole genre here. Let's see what he says. I think one of the worst things that happen in modern relationships is motherfuckers getting online and telling you how your relationship should be. Telling you how your relationship should be. He's got that twang in his voice. Hey yo, women will change their whole personalities just to hit and that shit's crazy. I was once talking to a girl I expressed- So does this seem like satire to you? Like when you watch this, do you immediately think, well, since it says satire in his profile, which everyone checks, you know, if you saw this on your For You page, you'd stop and go, let me look at his profile just to make sure it's satire. Let's listen to it and see if it sounds like it is. I expressed to her that I was a nerd and I told her that I really like Lord of the Rings. She said she liked it too, so I'm like, all right, bet. How about we come over to my place and we watch the whole extended cut of the trilogy? All 12 hours of that motherfucker. I was gonna make a day of it. The whole time she over here rubbing her butt up on me, reaching for the stick, and I'm like, hey, yo, chill. Legolas, Legolas over there cutting up on screen. Pay attention. Like, if you want your cheeks clapped, you can just ask. It's not that hard. Women will just fake their whole personality just to hit. This person just commented in all caps, you always have to shit on them. Always keep it toxic, my brothers. So that part didn't seem like satire. I feel like that's most of my TikTok experience. It's just like, is this a joke or is this person just serious? You gotta cheat on your girl in order to save your relationship. Cheating is scientifically proven to make you happier. And if you're happy, it's easier for you to make her happy. And at the end of the day, don't we all just want a happy relationship? Go ahead and follow me. Stay toxic. Eh, eh, eh. So the stay toxic meme is just be a piece of shit. And then I'm going to sell merch based off of it and whatever. I don't really care about that. If that's your satire account, whatever, and you want to have one of those like jokes where all of the jokes are just you beat a piece of shit, whatever. But that's where we get into this trend spreading and you start getting into some accounts that are a little less satire and a little more weird men. Let's see what he has to say. Get her to chase you. Avoid these three mistakes. How to get her to chase you. Look How to get her to chase you that's not how you talk stop talking like that Look, bro if you're currently talking to a girl and if you feel like you're the one chasing her all the time you're probably making one of these following three mistakes first mistake is you got her on a pedestal and it's turning her off yo bro i'm put you on some game girls they're not princesses they fart they poop and they burp <laughs> It's not true. They don't. Most guys are treating girls like they're above them, and they absolutely hate that shit. So if you're the guy who just treats you like a person, she's going to love you, dog. Second mistake. She's going to love you, dog. I mean, you're not wrong, but also it's not wrong to be nice and treat someone like you like them. This is always my advice when it comes to this stuff. Act like a human being, act like yourself, and everything's going to be okay. You don't want to have to think about some alpha male tips to get some girl, and then you, all of a sudden you got the girl, and what, you're going to pretend that you're that person for the rest of your life no stop just don't be weird second mistake is that you don't give her enough space here's the truth she loves texting you she loves talking to you but when you overwhelm her with attention you don't know that though you don't know that you oh i freaking farted oh my god she's not gonna like me you don't give her the space for her to chase you third mistake is that you're way too dependent on her to be happy look bro the only way you can have an
What was the beginning of that sentence? Can we run that back real quick? Be happy. Look, bro, the only way you can have it. Look, bro, don't really know. Bro, the only way you can have an attractive girl keep chasing you. Bro, the only way you can have an attractive girl. What? What did you just say? Look, bro, the only way you can have an attractive girl keep chasing you repeatedly is by having a life that makes you happy while independent of her. Bro, if you follow these three things, your phone's gonna go from dry to super soaking wet. I don't want my phone to be super soaking wet. What the hell? Why would you say that? Look at the end of this TikTok. Look at this. Watch this. We're soaking wet. How did it get? What was that? Can we back it up? Rides is super soaking wet. How did? What was that about? What is this? What? What to do when an Here's attractive girl looks at you? What to do when an attractive girl looks, looks at you? Bro, have you recently had a cute girl look at you, but you didn't know what to, no. to do? So you didn't do anything, then your chance just slipped away just like that? I feel you. It's happened to me before, and the feeling sucks. But here's exactly what to do next time it happens so you can capitalize on a moment and seal the deal. All right, first things first. If she's looking at you for more than two seconds, she likes you, bro. Write that down. If a girl looks at you for more than two seconds, she likes you. Make sure you write that down, because that's just the, that's just a true fact. You look back. Now here's what's key. And I know it might sound a little scary, but you don't want to break eye contact. You want to let her break eye contact first. This should have see you as confident and dominant, which is extremely attractive to her. You don't want to break eye contact. If she's looking at you, you need to block the gaze and keep the gaze going until she breaks the contact. And only then will you know that you're the alpha. Oh, I'm not the alpha. I'm not the alpha. Dude, if a girl's looking at you and you just start staring at her and she looks away knowing that you are still staring at her, that's scary. Second thing you want to do is smile. But you also don't want to have like a really goofy smile or one of those creepy smirks, you know? Here's the perfect smile. Think that your friend's in your ear telling you a joke so a natural smile occurs. If you do this, you'll make her melt. All right, last thing to do. You'll make her melt because she's the wicked witch of the West. And the moment that you smile, she'll literally melt like a bucket of water was poured on her. This is weird when someone who looks like they're 27 makes a video saying best colognes for high school and college. Dude, don't do that. Three science-backed hacks to quit porn today. You need to stop being bored. Remind yourself that every time you do the thing, you're killing your chances of doing the real thing. And the real thing is a hundred times better. Guys, if you ever look at porn and jerk off, you'll never have sex, ever. And that's what it's gonna sound like. Number three, easy access. Add layers of resistance. You need a chastity belt around your schlong. So if you try to watch porn, you can't actually get to your pebis. If you don't make it harder to access, you'll slip up. Install Blocker X app. Put your phone in grayscale and across the room. <laughs> Wait, what? It's okay to watch porn. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's the same as every other thing. Just don't do it in moderation and you're going to be fine. Not watching porn doesn't make you have sex. Just be a normal person and you can have sex if you want. I never watched it. I would say not being bored is the biggest one. I'm usually never bored because I will be with family and friends, so I won't be. Lowest point of my life. Watch Ethan is on... <laughs> I always laugh when I have to promote this guy. Watch Ethan is online's video about no fap. It's a good one. And then finally, we have masculine theory. A picture of Dunder Mifflin or whatever his name is on the front from Fight Club. What's his name? Patrick Dun Dundee or du du pa uh, Jonathan Duff? Brad Pitt, that's his name. Shit test practice. I don't know what that means. She says, you look like you have a small penis. What's your response? Um, oh, what's my response? Um, that would be my response. Um, my response would be, um, yeah, you look like you have a small penis too. Do they give you a response? They don't, they don't help you out. Stop being a simp. Quit beating your meat and watching adult videos. What is with the whole like anti-porn thing of alpha males? Like stop, don't pleasure yourself or you'll never have sex. You need to be so horny and so built up with sexual tension that you have to act like an animal towards all the women around you. Unfollow every girl you don't know personally on social media. 
what oh you like that artist no you gotta unfollow them oh you like this actress in this movie unfollow them youtuber hell no delete tinder go out meet real people <laughs> i like the second comment don't tell me how to live my life true so here's how to compliment her don't call her beautiful don't say she's pretty those are overdone and meaningless be unique compliment her mind <laughs> does russ run this account what's going on i love how you think baby i love the way you think i love the thoughts in your head compliment her personality not her body anyways that is the stay toxic trend i don't know what to take from this just avoid them ain't it always the same thing with these alpha male trends be a normal person that's all i have to say be cool don't be weird don't pressure people into liking you and you'll be fine i'm sure but don't take my word for it bambi why don't you take us out